So I've lived in New York for seven years, but I didn't feel like I was like a real New Yorker until about six months ago when I got bed bugs. Bed bugs are the worst, everybody knows they're the worst, they're like New Yorkers number one fear. And like everyone has Googled them at least 10 times because you get a weird bite and you're like, I know it's it, I know it's it, I know I have bed bugs. And usually it's just like a zit or like some weird rash from a new cream, but uh, sometimes you do actually get them and I did. Um, and getting bed bugs was actually a really great way for me to find out who my true friends are because they would still hang out with me. You know, it kind of was like the, the closest I've ever gotten to feel like the monkey in the movie Outbreak, you know, like the monkey that carries the disease. And uh, I, I would call my friends, I'd be like, yo, yo, Ashley, hey, um, you know, you want to get a drink tonight? And she'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, sure, Cameron. Um, I just need to put on like my yellow suit, my face mask. Cool, yeah, <laughs> margaritas on me, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It also, uh, it was pretty high stakes dating. Like there was this one night and I got on a great date with this guy and we came back to my apartment and I was like, so you're welcome to come upstairs. Um, I think the bed bugs are mostly gone. And the dude came up, which number one, I think makes him a champ. And also I was like, maybe he likes me for my personality. Eh, maybe. <laughs> When we were treated for bed bugs, they um, we had to put everything in garbage bags, and they also like turn over the furniture to like spray stuff. And so one night, I was getting up out of my bed, and I slammed my foot against a chair out of place, and my pinky toe just started swelling and getting huge. And I was like, "Oh hell no! Tell me you did not break your toe when you had bed bugs, Cam." So naturally, I looked at YouTube videos to see if I actually broke my toe, because YouTube knows anatomy probably the best. <laughs> and uh, I did, I definitely, definitely, definitely broke my toe. Um, and when I went to the foot doctor, the foot doctor was like, you know, actually it is broken, and, and actually you don't really need your pinky toe. Which made me feel a little weird, because like, I don't like to think of my body parts as optional, right? Uh, but there was really just one low moment. I had a, a moment where I was laying on my bed, surrounded by garbage bags, and my toe looked like a fat dying caterpillar. And so I called my mom, because I was like sobbing. I called my mom and I was like, mom, like I'm just really sad, you know? Like I'm just, I'm sad. And she goes, well, Cameron, I think I understand, but I think that's important to have perspective, right? Like I went to the grocery store today and there was a gentleman who didn't have an arm. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thank you, mom. And like, I get it. I totally get it. Like, I have a super uber privileged life. You know, like, I, I'm not, I'm not dying of AIDS or like starving or like, I, I have a home to live in. You know, but it's just, it's just, I, I can. I, it was just sad. It was, I, I was sad. Um, and it's over. The bed bugs are gone. Uh, and actually, mm, we are looking for a new roommate. So if anyone needs an apartment, let me know. <laughs>